Hi people, Ray Townsend here, or Charlie Tango One, whatever you want to call me. Um, this this video, um, this is about a new product that I'm going to try out. Um, well, <laughs> Chris Upton's going to try out, not me. <laughs> I want the, uh, the feedback from him on it. Um, it it's called um, a Leerberg collar. Now a Leerberg collar is, um, I think they're quite common over in the, in the States, but um, we don't use this type of thing here, uh, uh, not as far as I'm aware. Um, anyway, what it is, it's basically uh, an aggressive, what they call an aggressive collar. Um, a Leerberg is the ones I believe that produce them. But you wouldn't believe, I looked, uh, I looked online to see if I could see it, find one. Yes, I did find one, and they want over £28 for it, and uh, then you've got shipping costs as well. So you're looking at something in the region again of £50. Oh, excuse me, yeah, I could have slurped me too. I've got a bit of heartburn here now. Bear with me. And this is the first thing of. of um, I've made this is this is nothing new really. This is something that um, I thought, uh, and it won't be in brass. It's all done. I do all my stuff in um, stainless steel or nickel, which is very expensive. Uh, or um, this is stainless steel. Now, uh, to you people, you wouldn't think much. Think uh, oh, yeah, it's nickel plated or it's chrome. <laughs> well, it ain't. And there's, there's nickel plate, a little bit brighter as you can see. But in a nutshell, I think a lot of these ones, these are brass and they're just bright electrous nickel plated. Um, right, so that's what that's what will be on these little short leads that I'm going to produce um, for this collar. Here's the collar. There you go, let me have a good look at it. it. Slides down there like that and goes to that end. Like that. Now, you think, oh, what's that ring on there for? Well, that ring... Um, uh, is what you clip this onto. And the measurement is crucial. Now I've made this, this is a prototype that I'm going to be sending down to Chris Upton for approval and for trying out. If he's got any aggressive dogs. <laughs> Which, you know, you never know, you can get some people, oh no, watch him, he don't like that, don't do that to it, you know. Well, <laughs> Chris likes a challenge. <laughs> Even better if the dog's trying to have a go at him. Right, now these, what I've done is I've used three quarter rings on these. Now because at the time they didn't have stainless steel, which I like to use because they don't rust, um, you can have them plated, but the plating over years, um, especially on these trigger clips and all that, they do lift off a bit like, you know, but by the time that happens you've had a good good innings with them. Now it's the same bit of collar stuff that I use, okay, it's, it's made exactly the same, I put a ring on it and this piece goes against the dog's neck, the, the smooth piece goes against the dog's neck on a so. So if anything that ring, let's turn it over, is running on that edge. Alright, that's running on that edge like that. Same as your slip collar does. But with this one, you bring it over. Oh, bear with me, I'm trying to get hold of it. It's because oh, it's got oil on. <laughs> And you trigger clip it onto that ring, that ring there, okay? So basically it's the same as a slip collar, but you're using that ring to do it with. And that's how they go. Um, now, because this has got a swivel on it, it will swivel round to a point. Let's get it in shape where it would be. So that's what you'd have there. 
Now this ring will go up to that ring there um, and you think, oh that's small isn't it? Well I measured my Charlie boy and he's 14 inches. So that's what I've made this. Now he's the size of a springer. He, although he's a cocker, he's the size of a springer. Um, and what, uh, so what I've done is um, I used his measurement. Now the measurement is crucial because the idea of this goes under the chin and, and around, the, around the ears. It's quite high up and the idea is it doesn't slide down. You know, it's no good having it right up here and then suddenly it goes about and it's starting to slide down here. And no good, it's got to stay up there. And the only way to do that is to have the correct measurement. Which I've done and I've tried this on my dog and it absolutely fits brilliant. And it stays there. So, um, I'll be sending this down to Chris. I will be doing a modification. Um, I think, because I, th I believe that there is no real need for this end of the lead to have this three-quarter ring on. Um, because, for one, you're not going to get your finger in it. Well, I can, but Chris won't. Stumpy little fingers he's got, you know. <laughs> but, um, I might be able to get away with the, the one-inch ring on that end, which you have on your slip lead, again. But then I, where are we? I've got, what size are these? Oh, they're the same size. Yeah, I might consider, might consider the one inch, but I'll wait for the feedback from Chris on that one. Um, but there they are. Um, I'm going to send this down to him for him to try it out, see how he gets on. Um, I don't want to go any bigger than that, if possible, with that trigger clip. Because it just goes on that leather just nicely, doesn't it? Look. So that suits me fine. I've reduced the turnover on here. We're now down to uh, two and a half inches, which is more than enough. Same each end. Um, as I say, it's been it's been oiled, etc. Um, I should probably put a little bit of oil on it or wipe it with my oily rag in a minute. <coughs> And I, I am thinking that this this uh, lead, short lead, hand lead, will be suffice using with that that uh, collar. You obviously don't want a long lead; it's defeating the object, I think. But we'll find out. That's for Chris to try out <laughs> and, and make us aware of what what's best for it. Um, so you know, there it is. I've I've, I've grabbed the ball by the horns and I've purchased. Um, some clips, some trigger clips, some rings, uh, and um, some other various bits and pieces. So it's just a matter of um, I'm going to send them down to him. Oh, excuse me. Oh. And see how, see how he gets on with them. I've got a one-inch ring here, actually. I think if I if I recall. Yeah. Oh. Sneeze, I think. <coughs> oh dear. <coughs> no, it's not the virus, I was just always sneezing. Yeah, so there it is. You know, this. Uh, I think this would be the one inch would be better. It's not going to be that much bigger, but big enough to get your finger through. Times you've got this leather on there as well, so I'm, I'm likely to be doing the next one with this one inch, because at least that way it'll be stuck up here, and you, you can get your finger in that loop straight away, and then put your lead on. Um, shouldn't shouldn't be a problem. So there we have it. Um, it's always the same with America though, anything you get from there, they want an arm and a leg for. I mean anything over £15, you're paying duty on it anyway. You know, it's it just all depends, in any country, it just all depends uh, whether they're in a good mood or whether they just think, oh no, don't worry about that and let it go through. 
Oh no, we'll have some money off of that one. You know, stamp it, and then so next thing you get a car through the door, there's some duty to pay on this. Down the post office you go um, and pay the dues before they let you have it. Um, I think that was it. That's all I needed to to um, go over. So uh, the, this yellow uh, orange biothane, I've got some of that coming as well. Um, I think the people like the idea of that. That will be 20 foot long uh, and I will put a handle loop on the end of it but it's not going to be like the small loop uh, on the training lead. Uh, I'm going to make it so you can slip it over your right hand and it'll go around your wrist, you know. It's double riveted anyway, but um, otherwise it's sort of, well, do you want a handle on it or do you just want it straight, you know. It's, uh, you give them too many choices, uh, you're wasting your time, you oh yeah, I'll have one of those, and then you've got to get in touch with them again, did you want one with a handle on it, or, oh, oh no, or when they get it, they say, oh really, I thought, I thought uh, um, you put a handle on them, and they go, oh god, here we go, see, so, um, I try to avoid the options if I can, so that, you know, that's how it comes, and that's it, like, you know, um, personally I think it's better without a handle because if you're training them and they get, and they get stuck in somewhere like <coughs> you can stamp on it you know that stop them but um, it could also get hooked up on anything and that stop them dead like you know you could even bust your dog's neck if that's the case you know it, it sounds silly but it can happen that's the thing prevention is better than cure in my book anyway. Right, I'm not going to harp on anymore, so this this uh, this is going, I'm going to put this over to Chris. I don't know if I'm going to put it up on YouTube yet. Uh, I may do, but we'll see how it goes. So Chris, they're coming on their way down to you, putting them in the post tomorrow morning, being Wednesday morning. Um, I'm out on licence. Because <laughs> I've been banned not to go outside because I'm over 70, you know. But there you go, uh, give it a try Chris, hope it's um, turned out alright, that as I say that collar is 14 inches and you, you, you don't clip it on the ring and then put it over the dog's head, the idea is it should go around its neck because it, it shouldn't go over its ears, um, but pff, hey if you do, do slip it over its head, uh, over its ears, uh, then there's every possibility it is going to slip down, it's going to be too big. But they are, have to be individually made to that dog's side and it is important that the measurement's right because a uh, half inch can make a lot of difference. You know, um, I've read up on it and um, that, that's how it is. I mean, I, I, don't, uh, I don't tell you something uh, that it's not. So, in my book, it is crucial that measurement size. I'm not going to have it on. I'll catch you all on the next one. Cheerio.